So we're going to, I'm going to teach you how to um, work with soy curls. So many people have asked me, how do you do that? What do you do with it? This is what it is. It's a uh, non-GMO. It's not genetically modified in any way. Um, they're dehydrated. Eat them just like this. I do sometimes and they're good. A little bland, but they're good. And it, to me anyways. Um, you take those. Now I usually for a fajita dish like we're going to be putting this into some fajitas and other things. I'll show you that in a few, little bit. But um, when I make these, I usually use a four cup measuring cup and I fill it to the top. And that's um, how much I usually use. Like and now I have a husband and a son and myself. Uh, if I'm making a chicken salad, which I can do with this, that makes a large bowl of chicken salad about this size. Um, I can do fajitas with about four cups. Uh, I can make, what else do I make with them? Let me think. There's so many things I can make with this. Oh, stew meat. Um, I can make stew meat or I can put it in a chicken rice uh, stew. So you can use them in various ways. And the, the soy curls come from a company called Butler Foods. And um, it's a family run company. They, if you go on their website, butlerfoods.com, I believe it is, or just put in soy curls, it'll come up. And they even make a beef jerky that was delicious when I tasted it. They have a taco burger they make, they make all kinds of things. So you can go on there and they have their own seasonings. But um, I didn't get those seasonings. I already had others, so I've just stuck with mine. But I will show you what I do use. So what I do then is I take the soy curls and I put them in a bowl like this and I fill it with water. And then I let them set for about 15 minutes or 10 to 15 minutes. You'll know when they're kind of squishy, you'll know. Um, you just want to rehydrate them. And then we're going to rinse the water off of them. So instead of turning to the sink, I'll just use this. Now these have been soaking a while because I was getting ready for this video. So the water's a little bit more yellow. Don't expect that to always happen. It, if it don't set for more than about 10 or 15 minutes, it'd probably be a tinge of yellow. But these have been setting for a while. Anyways, so then I will take these and cut them up. Like a, these are pretty long and I don't care to have them that long. So I will cut these up. And I'll show you just real quick and then I'll finish up the rest of them. So I just take them, just a handful, and I kind of cut them up little pieces, about like that. Nothing that you have to be precise on. And then we're going to put them into a pan and we're going to spray them with some oil. Like that. Now we also take about two tablespoons of lime juice. That's not lemon. Lemon doesn't work so well. I tried that once when I was out of lime. <laughs> Didn't taste right. So about two tablespoons to four cups of soy curls. And you just sprinkle that over it. And then believe it or not, you use garlic powder. I use the granulated, but you can you use garlic powder about two tablespoons over four cups. You don't taste the garlic. Don't worry about it. It's not going to happen. The soy curls have a way of taking that flavor away. I don't know what it is, but without it, you will notice it doesn't taste as well. Now, sometimes my daughter doesn't like using the lime juice in that, and she'll do it a little bit different. But whichever way you do it, and I think even Butler Foods, they send you, if you send for their their uh, soy curls, they have their some recipes that you can try and they do it a little bit different than I do in preparing 
the soy curls. So this is the way I like to use because I find it has more flavor to it. Now at the bottom of, the, if you get a big box like I do, I'll show you the box in a minute here. Um, you can, I go through a box probably in about a month and a half, maybe two months. And um, when you get a big box like that, you'll have crumbs at the bottom. Don't throw the crumbs away, use them. I use them in chicken salad, they work well. And I'll show you this box. The big box of soy curls. Anyways, so we have that there and then I'm going to put the lime juice in there. Now to four cups, about two tablespoons. Maybe a little more. And then the garlic powder. There we go. Now at this point you can add a little bit of salt also because they are very bland so you don't have any salt there. Also I use um, Bill's Best. Now Butler's has their own chicken seasoning so if you don't like this one try bears try different ones. Um, you can, uh, I'm sure you'll find a chicken seasoning you like. You can also do this with beef seasoning. I get the, the Bill's beef also. And I just sprinkle that over like this. Now, we do need to add water. And I use about to four cups, about a half a cup of water is all you really need. If you want to add a little bit more, you can. It's up to you um, and what you think you need at the time. And then I just stir that up and we let it simmer and it will start to change color. Now when I do the chicken, this is basically all I do. When I do beef, it's a little different. Um, I'll add some kitchen bouquet, which I've shown in other videos. And that adds a little bit more color to it. Okay, so we'll let that simmer for a few minutes. So our soy curl has been cooking and it only takes maybe 10 minutes or so. And um, they've turned yellow. Can you see this? Bring this. And you can see how they've turned yellow for the chicken. Now, um, you can use them for a chicken salad. Make, put them in fajitas. Uh, you could put it into uh, chicken and biscuits. Um, I can show you how to make that. There's, you can use, wherever you want to use chicken, this is a good way of doing a vegan chicken. And use it in various um, dishes that you want to make. Uh, and like I said, with the beef, you could also do beef and you, you just add some kitchen bouquet and the, chick, the Bill's beef to it. Done the same thing, everything's the same. And you can add it to a beef stew or um, I don't know, there's a few other things you can use it to. So um, if you check in the videos, it will have uh, the soy curls and it tells how to do that and you can use it in various other dishes. And we will be using this in a chicken salad and in a fajita that I'm showing you. So. I'll see you next time.